Well, hello there, it's Joey Morgans and he's back with some crappy commentaries. The first thing you may notice in this video is I'm very vain and I've put a picture of me on the video, sorry, in the bottom left corner of the video, just so you can see my steering wheel. So here we are for a sprint race in Budapest, lights out and go, go, go! Not the best of starts here in the Ferrari, but we're away, heading for the first corner. Just want to take it easy, let everybody else come off the track. Here we go, break a little bit earlier, try to avoid contact, sometimes it's unavoidable. Here we go, a little bit of contact with the catering there. And now we head into turn two. And it seems an American has brought the tradition of NASCAR, swearing your f***ing head off, because he's got a penalty. Let's listen in. And as you can hear, he clearly doesn't like the new F1 2012 penalty system. Although he is a Yankee, I can understand what he's talking about. It is shocking, it's caught me out a couple of times, here's some more evidence. He is still very angry, and as you can see there, Cater are making a terrible mistake. And the Ferrari goes through into the lead, P1. Let's hope it stays like this for the rest of the race. Is still very angry, getting on the curb a bit too much and into a little bit of a fishtail, but it's okay. Into turn 12, slight right hander, well on the curb and a little bit sideways on the exit. Coming up to turn 13 under the Pirelli banners. Take a very late apex so you can get a good exit. And now we're on to the final corner. You want to hug the barrier as much as you can. Run the car out wide again, use up any leftover curves, and now we're heading for the start finish line. Here we go then, on to lap number two, and it appears that HRT has a slightly better run than me, using all his curves on the main straight, and he comes down the inside, just let him through, focus on the late apex, do the undercut, and back into the lead. Position one, heading into turn two, a left-handed hairpin. HRT having a look down the right-hand side, afraid it's not enough, he's back into my slipstream though. Slight right hander, clip the apex, run it wide onto the kerb. And now here we go into the slight left hander, down one gear. Cutting the corner a little bit too much there and running wide on the exit. That's under the pressure of the HRT. And now we approach the chicane. Beautiful corner, the kerbs on this corner are fantastic. Not too much kerb, it will upset the balance of the car, so if you do that just lift off. And now it seems as if the HRT is starting to fall behind, which is good news. There's only a lap and a half to go, which means it could be a win for the Ferrari. And even though the HRT is a very long way behind, this doesn't mean he's not going to try and overtake into the third last corner. Very bold move and he goes wide. Nice try, but it's not enough. And we're going around the second last corner now, uh, heading on to the final lap. So I think it's a good time to talk about driving styles. And I'm going to be very perfectly honest with you, I am a little bit of an F1 freak, might have been able to tell from the uh, steering wheel in the bottom left corner of the screen, but uh, I do learn a lot from watching uh, documentaries, yes. Uh, one of the things I've learned is there's, there's three main different driving styles, there's uh, one that Jensen Button uses, very very smooth on the steering wheel, uh, this is keeping up with race pace uh, and also very good on the tyres. I suppose this is the driving style I'm using, um, although I am oversteering a little bit on the exits of corners. HRT going up my backside a little bit there and uh, uh, going into the chicane for the third time. Uh, oh my goodness, it looks like the HRT has spun out. Oh no, that is a terrible shame, you obviously got too much on the kerbs there. And now it looks like it's straightforward, just bring the car home. Anyway, the second driving style, which is what Fernando Alonso uses, is uh, chucking the car very early into the corner, even taking up a bit of grass on the apex. Uh, sometimes even understeering on slower corners, which sets them up for a late apex. This method is very bad on tyres, but for sure very effective. And the final driving method is what Michael Schumacher uses, sliding the car through the corners, which helps cancel out understeer. And here we go then, crossing the line in first position. You can see there me having a little celebration in the bottom left corner of the screen. A lap time of 1 minute 23 seconds, 0 0.014. And here comes the cheesiest part of the video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I would really appreciate it if you uh, click the thumbs up sign underneath the video the like button that does absolute wonders and another button that does absolute wonders 
is the one above the video subscribe button of course thank you very much for watching again it's been joey morgans it's been an honor and i shall see you in my next video do you love f1 yes i do good then you'll love go-karting click the link